Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our fifth grade teach at home math video series. This is week three, day three. So you may be wondering, why do I have medals around my neck? Well, today we're going to talk about ordering decimals. And did you know that in a gymnastics meet, when those gymnasts perform all four events and they have that all around score, did you know those scores go all the way in the thousands? And so they have to be able to decide by, based on their score, who's in third place, who's in second place, and who comes in first place. But in order to do that, they have to be able to order decimals. So come with me today so you can learn how to order decimals all the way to the thousands. So today we're going to order decimals and we're going to use one of those situations that we've actually used before. And this was the situation in the experiment class. We just talked about how people have to order things in sporting events like a gymnastics meet. But now we're going to look at how does this play into part in like a science experiment. So let's read about Lena and what she's doing. And then we're going to work on helping her figure this out. So follow along as I read. Lena is weighing rocks for a science experiment. The weights are 98 thousandths of a kilogram, 28 thousandths of a kilogram, 150 thousandths of a kilogram, and 95 thousandths of a kilogram. Help her arrange the rocks from least to greatest. Oh, so in science class, they also measure to the nearest thousandths so that they can be as precise as possible. So scientists really want to be as precise as possible. So if we can measure all the way down to the nearest thousandth, that is, can be very helpful in our experiment. So what are we looking for or what are we trying to figure out here? So it looks like we're trying to figure out how she can arrange her rocks from least to greatest, right? And so what information do we know? Well, they gave us the weights. We know one rock is 98 thousandths, one rock is 28 thousandths, another is 150, 150 thousandths, and another one's 95 thousandths. So with that, Something that we can do is we can always model those weights using some, represent those weights with some type of model. So today we're gonna represent those weights with a number line because this is gonna be a nice way to be able to plot the weights on the number line and then easily be able to tell which one's the least and which one's the greatest. So let's start with the first weight of 98 thousandths. Something that I noticed in the 98 thousandths is that it has nine hundredths. And I noticed something about the number line, that the number line was actually broken up into hundredths. So I found the nine hundredths, just like that was in that weight, and know that I'm going to 98 thousandths. So that means nine hundredths is the same thing as I could rewrite this actually as 90 thousandths. I could rewrite that one, but that tells me then that's 91 thousandths, 92 thousandths, 93 thousandths, 94 thousandths, 95 thousandths, 96 thousandths, 97 thousandths, 98 thousandths. So right here is where 98 thousandths lives on the number line. So let's look at the next one. We have 28 thousandths. I noticed there was a two in the hundredths place. So I went down to my number line and I looked to find where the two hundredths was. And it's right there. And I'm gonna go to 28 thousandths. So uh, because that two hundredths can be said as 20 thousandths. So I, I'm just gonna think before I just count by ones. I know that 28 thousandths is probably really close to 30 thousandths. It's really close to this. And I know that it's actually just two away. So right here is where I would put 28, 28 thousandths. So let's look at the 120 thousandths. 
So for this one, I noticed there was 12 hundredths. Well, I noticed there's 12 hundredths right here, which is the same thing as 120 thousandths. So right here is that 120 thousandths. And then the last one, 95 thousandths. Well, I noticed that nine in the hundredths. So I know that's the nine hundredths. And now I could find where in the world is 95. Well, I know that 95 would come right in the middle. So it'd be about right there. So now the question comes, how do we arrange these from least to greatest? Looking at our number line from left to right, which one is the least? Yeah, this one. So the 2800, 28 thousandths is the, is the least. Then I go on and I come to 95 thousandths. And then I see 98 thousandths. And then I see 120, 120 thousandths. So there is our numbers from least to greatest. So let's practice this. So we have some cards here and we have some numbers and it tells us that we want to, we want to order these from greatest to least. Well, I don't have a number line on here, so if you need to draw a number line, you are more than welcome to. Or could we just look at the place values? If we wanna go from greatest to least, let's look at our place values. Let's start with the greatest place value that there's a number that other than zero. I see there's numbers in the tenths. So we have zero tenths, nine tenths, nine tenths, five tenths. So what does that tell you? Can you tell the person next to you what that tells you? Does that tell you now that we narrowed it down to these two as being the greatest? So what do we do? Since they both have nine tenths, where do we need to go? We have to go to the hundredths. Five hundredths, zero hundredths. What do you know? That five hundredths is more than zero hundredths. So that means that this one must be, must be the greatest. Awesome. So then which one would be the next greatest? Well, it'd be the one that has the nine tenths as well. So there's our next one. So now let's go back to what we have. We have zero tenths, five tenths. Well, I know that five tenths is more than zero tenths. We're going from greatest to least. So we're gonna move that one down. And so that only leaves us that one should go right here so that is how we ordered them and all we did was started with the greatest place value and work our way down so this time what i want us to do is i want you to look at these numbers and i want you to do the same thing but this time you're going to order them from least to greatest so if you can write these down then we'll check them in just a minute So let's just go ahead and check these. Let's go ahead and check these. So did you say that 109 thousandths is the least? Hmm. And then did you say 11 hundredths is the least or a hundred ten thousandths is the least because I could say that both ways okay and then did you have nineteen hundredths or a hundred ninety thousandths and then a hundred ninety one thousandths so let's talk about why how do we know that this is least to greatest can you tell the person next to you or tell the screen how do you know how do you know this is least to greatest how is this right So how many of you started by looking at the tenths place? And that was just not very helpful, was it? So then you went to the hundredths. You had zero, you had one, you had nine, you had nine. So is zero less than one hundredth? It sure is. 
So we know that these are in the right spot. Then we had nine hundredths and nine hundredths. Well, that wasn't very helpful, but we didn't have any thousandths, but we had one here. And so that is why they look like this. So we just ordered our numbers from least to greatest with the thousandths. So if you want to continue working on this and practicing this skill, because we see how important it is, it's when we want precise measurements, we're gonna go all the way down into those thousands. It's when we are competing in those sporting events that have um, things that go into the thousands, we're going to have to know how to order those. So if you wanna practice this more, please go to handofmind.com where you can find some more skill sheets that will help you reinforce the skill. I hope you all have a great rest of the day.